Hi folks, Marcel back again with The Pulse. Today we're gonna to talk about foods that contain NMN. A lot of people have asked me about my diet, asked me about what foods to eat, how I eat them, when I eat them. I decided to take a fresh look at foods that contain NMN. From the beginning of taking supplements, once I heard that supplements could help from Sinclair and others, I thought, well, doesn't it make sense to eat the foods, since they're all natural, real foods anyway, that contain these supplements to sort of synergize with the supplements? In my opinion, digestion is important, but digging into this further, there are other molecules that can actually work together with NMN to further boost NAD and improve your health. So these foods come up, and this list has evolved a little bit since I first looked at it, so it's interesting what's going on out there in the science community when they look at these foods. Shiitake mushrooms, cucumbers, avocados, broccoli, cabbage, edamame, beef, shrimp, and milk all come up on the list. And now the three foods that have the most NMN seem to be the mushrooms, broccoli, and cabbage. However, there were some surprises I saw, which were tomatoes, potatoes, oranges, and specifically raw beef also contain NMN. Then there are foods that boost NAD through partially NMN, but also other molecules that are NAD precursors. Fatty fish, including salmon, tuna, sardines, peanuts, whole grains, brown rice, oats, also green tea, and then lean meats, chicken, poultry, and I mentioned milk a while ago. Now, in the court case over NR, there was an argument made by a nutritionist that said tryptophan in milk was working together with NMN and R to boost NAD levels further. And it turns out tryptophan is considered an NAD precursor. Tryptophan helps with digestion, tissue repair, chemicals in the brain and hormone levels, also improves muscle strength and hair, nails, and skin. Now, the irony here, when I was researching this, tryptophan came up in some information from NIH. And they were talking about the value of tryptophan, the value of consuming milk. And I found it pretty interesting how, on one side, the government's trying to ban natural ingredients like NMN. Meanwhile, the good nerds at the NIH are saying, well, we've done all the calculations and collected all the science, and turns out the most valuable nutritional substance is milk. And of course, the FDA is saying, whoa, 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 no, it's drugs, it's drugs. <laughs> I have an envelope of cash coming on Wednesday, it's drugs. The doctors are saying, my envelope comes on Thursdays. <laughs> so thank goodness for the NIH. And it's funny, you know, when you think about it, milk. What was funny for me when I thought about this is I was not breastfed as a child. It was in the 1960s. My mom says the government said at the time baby formula was healthier than breast milk. <laughs> so thank you, government. You know, just sometimes can't you just stay out of it? <laughs> Now, looking at all of these foods, these can all be considered real foods, as opposed to the stuff in the grocery store that comes in a package or a box or a bag. All of these real foods contain NMN. It seems to me that NMN actually is the definition of a natural ingredient. So instead of saying it doesn't meet the definition, I think, it's, I think they've got it completely backwards at the FDA. I think NMN actually is the definition. It seems to fit the category as perfectly as any vitamin out there, vitamin C, vitamin D. You look at all of these foods, which we should all be eating. I'm not saying don't eat these foods, take supplements. I'm saying eat these foods and supplement as needed. The foods that we're getting out of the ground or from animals that eat things out of the ground no longer has the nutritional value in it, according to a lot of science out there, that it once did due to over farming and chemicals. So it seems to me that a correct approach towards nutrition and better health is to eat these foods and then supplement what some of them may have insufficient levels of. All of the things I take, by the way, from Do Not Age exist in these foods. The exception I can think of is AKG, which your body makes. So calcium delivered AKG can boost your body's AKG levels. But everything else exists in this real food supply. 
So while my approach took me from supplementing to a better diet, I think a better diet is the best place to start. And then I think you can supplement as needed. You can trust the science, as I do with some of these molecules that I don't feel an immediate change from. And then the ones that I do, I mean, to me, it's pretty self-explanatory to take NMN or take things that right away have helped my energy and my focus so much. Other supplements that I've noticed a big difference in are AKG and things like Fizotin. Another note about tryptophan. It was taken off the market for over a decade, around the 1990s, because there was a manufacturing error, which led to an outbreak of EMS. A lot of people got sick, some people died. But the manufacturing error was corrected very quickly. They still left it off the market for over a decade. While things like Tylenol, where there was also a manufacturing error that caused people to get sick, well, that was left on the market. Not surprising. But tryptophan has been given as an antidepressant and a sleep aid. It kind of got me thinking about how some people that take NMN aren't able to sleep. Instead of just reducing your NMN or not taking NMN at all, maybe try increasing your tryptophan with some dairy products or some maybe a glass of whole milk before bed. Just try it. See if that helps you. But it is interesting how after looking at the foods, finding out about the other substances, and then finding out that these other substances are also NAD boosters and healthy and provide benefits and how they can work together with NMN to create a balanced diet and help your sleep habits. So to summarize, I would clean up your diet, get rid of the sugar, get rid of the processed foods. By the way, I didn't find sugar on any of these NMN lists or healthy lists. Consume some of these foods that are actually natural products that come right out of the ground. Make sure you're getting a good night's sleep. Use the fuel that we're talking about here to exercise, stretch, take care of your body, and supplement as needed. Talk to you soon. I'm Marcel.